Hey there, and welcome to this video about how we can extend the MRS Startup Maven project uh, with uh, Create. Uh, we talked about the CRUD, and this is going to be a, just a demonstration video. Uh, maybe we will have errors, uh, we need to correct them. Uh, but the last time, uh, last class, we did the read, uh, reading all the, f all the movies. And we can see in the application here, we got plenty of movies uh, that is in the system and is loaded and we can search for it. All right, so let's have a look. If we go back here uh, into the application, uh, we can also see that uh, we got these uh, programming notes that is available in the persistence. Uh, on Moodle here and we can see that um, we have a recipe for create uh, what we need to do we already did the re so we don't need to worry about that but we got the recipe for create and then we have some create movie code so this is what we should put into the uh, data access layer of the application and uh, we can see if we go into the, um, we got the movie DAO file here. We implemented the get all movies. We have the code for it. I put some comments for it and we can see here if we go further down, we have create movie, it returns null, takes in a title and a year parameters and uh, we need to implement this into the application here. So. So let's start off and uh, let's start and have a look here. Uh, extend the GUI with title and year. Uh, we need to modify the FXML uh, in the and also the controller. So let's go into the. So this means we need to. We need to modify the user interface uh, first off uh, to allow the user to input uh, a new movie. So. Let's see if we can do that. Uh, first off, we're going to go to the um, to the resource. Uh, we're going to open the, the movie view. Uh, we could also do some fancy stuff with creating new windows, um, but it will add extra com complexity to that. So you're more than welcome to do that, but, but I'm just going to show you how you do this in the same window uh, as we have here. Otherwise, you can refer to the project uh, multiple windows that is uh, on the GitHub, I think. We put it there when we worked on it. So, um, let, let's have a look here. Uh, we got this uh, list view, we got the, the text field here, and let's see if I can extend this actually, if we can make this work. Just take me out of uh, anchor pain here. Do, 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 do. And uh, maybe the search is okay. We put it here. Now, this is not a UA, UX design class here, so let's just put the text field in here. And maybe we're going to do, 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 duplicate that. Whoop. So we've added that here, and um, to 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 uh, distinguish this. Um, well, let me see. Let me just do it a bit bigger here. Let's whoop and like this. We can make this a full length, and we can have this for the for the title. Whoop. So we need a button to do this as well. Let's just put this in here. And again, guy, uh, people, you can you can probably do this much better than I can. Uh, so it's not a design class here. Okay. So what we can do to um, indicate to the user what they should actually do with these text fields, we can put a prompt text. So. 
movie title and movie year or what was that I don't know if we actually have the rating there as well let's have a look yeah we got the ID title and year so <clears throat> and we don't need to worry about the ID so first off we're going to do this title and year and we can do a search yes All right so um, we got the input fields we need to give them an FX ID we do this in the code section here the FX ID so txt title and txt uh, year and we don't need to assign uh, an event handler for the text fields but we need to do this for the button uh, if we head over to the programming notes it says create an event handler in the controller All right so first we need to give this and uh, we could give it an FX ID as well um, uh, duh, 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 click now we uh, could use this button um, to also control when we update when we need to do the update CRUD function so this button if we want to can have two functionalities uh, if we want to to keep it simple we can also just create two buttons one that is called create and the other one that's called update uh, but we could actually create both functionalities with the same button here but let's just first put in create like this all right so let's have a look here we can also see in the uh, bottom left we can see the controller and it has all the information regarding the controller movie view controller and the fx ids and the components so let's uh, click okay for now change is save to the fxml file let's go back to intellij let's have a look here let's see if we can go first off if we click on the movie view we can see we have changed it and we can also see that if we start the application here we have the new ui nothing will happen but we got the prompt texts and we are actually able to type in something like a uh, year and whatever movie and of course we have no checks whether the user will type in uh, an actual year or data that cannot be passed as a as an integer as a year so that might be a problem but but that's another video how we do validation uh, for these fields so let's have a look uh, let's go back here to the controller we can see nothing has changed in the controller um, but if we go to the to the fxml we can see we got the, the new text fields txt title year and button click and uh, let me have a look uh, fx id i don't think it may have don't know if it actually created the event handle let's have a look here let's look oh we didn't do that so um, what should happen on the when we click on it um, and see uh, let's just see handle click I think this is the name of the event handler button handle click um, yes and yeah let's just keep this for now um, this is okay let's uh, go back now we can see we got the on action event here that is red so it means there is no actual method in the controller to handle this and IntelliJ will try to help me create the method uh, button handle click in the controller I'm just going to say yes for this so now we have an event handler which is good we also need to get a handle of the text field so we can get the data from the um, from the user interface and we do this by creating a field and we got the field right here 
So now we get the txt title and we already have these fields here. And let's just get the year as well. All right. So, so now this is okay. We don't actually need to get the button right now uh, because we got the uh, the event handler. Uh, but 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 uh, let's just keep this for for now. We can also these two, if we want to simplify this, we can do txt year, and then we can remove this line here. So now we have, uh, and we could also add txt movie search here and remove this if we wanted to. But let's just keep this for now. We got these two input fields uh, in our controller so we can uh, get the data that the user inputs uh, from the user interface. All right, so let's go back to the programming notes. We have created the event handler. Uh, we have modified the GUI, title year. We now go to uh, number three, event handler should call create movie on model GUI layer. All right, so let's just have a look. We got the MRS architecture. Let me just open this up. It's a big picture, uh, a new tab. Let's, let's see if we can zoom out just a little bit here. So we modified the GUI, uh, the view, we modify the controller with the fields there. So we got the txt uh, fields so we can get the data. Uh, and now we need to um, create the code so that the model can interact with the movie manager and create the new movie into our uh, data access layer. And we're using a file at the moment. So it should go to the, uh, to the movie DAO file. Okay, so what does the programming uh, notes tell us? Let's have a look here. Uh, let's go here. So event handler should call create movie on the model. Okay. This means that the event handler in the controller should call the create method on the model. All right, so we need to go to our event handler. Let's have a look here. Button handle click, call model. Um, but first off, we need to get the data. We need to get the movie data from the uh, user interface. So uh, what we could do is we could, um, if we want to be very explicit, title and then we can get the txt title get text and this is a built-in method on the text field that will get the text from uh, from the text field so basically um, the data here we will get so if we type if i can type correctly inception we're going to get inception uh, into the title here. All right, so let's go with, we need to have an integer year, txt year, get text, but now we have a problem because this is a string and we want to put this into an integer. So we can do integer parse int. So now we, if we can, we try to parse this, uh, convert it as an integer. And of course, there is a risk that if we type in not a year, it will throw an exception. So um, we can see here, it will actually throw number format exception. We could handle this to tell the user in a friendly manner that the input is wrong. But but this is another video. This is another thing we could extend the application with. So we got title, we got the year. Okay, so now we got the data from the UI. Um, get data from UI. 
get user uh, movie data from the UI okay so next up we need to call the model first of maybe okay let's just see here uh, we got the movie model so we can see here that we in the controller here the movie view controller we are creating the model which is our handle uh, to the business logic layer this is our handle to go there and if we want to do some checks on the movie data um, we can do this in the business logic layer and we can further on ask our data access layer to create the movie in our uh, file or if and when we had a database we could also create the movie in the database um, yes so let's have a look here we got the movie model um, and if we see here search movie get observable movies okay so we have nothing that actually creates a movie doesn't say create movie anywhere so right now we have nothing that says create movie and uh, let's go to our programming notes what does it tell us so now uh, the event handler should call create movie on the model, but there is no create movie method on the model right now. And further on, it should call uh, create movie on the manager. Okay. Yes. So this means we need. Yes, we need something to. Uh, we need a method called create movie. And we also need to do a new movie object that we can pass around uh, to the model and into the manager and also to the um, data access object. So let's create a new movie. We need to do title. Oh, no, it's an, it's an ID. And you see, now comes the tricky part because... Um, we don't really know what the next ID is. So if we look into the application, we can see that each movie has an ID, uh, 17,774, which if we take the next ID should be one higher than this. Now, this is something that the database will handle for us uh, automatically, um, but when we want to input this id here uh, we don't really know what the next id is so in the beginning i'm just going to put in my minus one because i don't know the id here uh, and then i'm going to put in the title year let's see if this is correct i think it's the other way around maybe can't remember uh title yes so now we have made a um, new movie object and um, now we need to call the model to create the movie oh, in the DAL but this is the way to go uh, we need to go through the chain here we need to go through the layers through the movie manager and the movie manager is doing nothing at the moment it's just passing on data going to the data access layer. In bigger applications, there might be some business logic that might be that checks or does extra uh, logic for uh, when you create something or you get data. Many, uh, maybe some validation or if you're saving a password, you want, might want to hash it or something. Okay, but right now it's just passing data to the data access layer. So we're going to create this and we're going to give it a new movie. And IntelliJ is telling me there is no such method on the model. Do you want to create it? Uh, so I can get IntelliJ to create the method in the model if I wanted to. Um, let's just go and create it ourselves for the sake of the example here. Um, so the movie model is the one we want to work with. 
So you can see I have no methods that, no CRUD method that will do create. So let me uh, create this one, allow me to create it here. Uh, it should be called uh, public um, movie create. What I actually could do, I could look in the interface to see how does it look like this method here. It says create movie. Oh, it actually it actually is just based on this title and the year. Okay. Uh, all right. So now this interface is is uh, made in a way so it just takes the individual parts for the movie. Um, yeah, so one way to handle this is either we could change the interface to do just a movie, new movie, that is one way. Um, the other way is to keep the individual uh, parameters, we only have two, but if we think ahead of time and we extend our movies with maybe 5, 10, 15 parameters, we are uh, doing a code smell because we should uh, pass around the object itself. Uh, so what to do? What to do? I think I'm just going to do this first. We don't need public for the interface while I'm thinking. So let's have a look here. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to change the interface. Movie, new, movie. Okay, so Normally, you put a lot of th thoughts into the um, into the interface, and doesn't you don't change it a lot because the surrounding layers might be affected by this. But but uh, we don't want to have a code smell in this, and it's it's better to pass around the movie um, because if we modify the movie, we don't need to modify the interface here anymore. So um, let's go back to the movie model here. We can say create movie and movie uh, new movie. So we have this. Um, I need to let's just have a look here. Yeah, I need to return the movie here. Uh, so we will, uh, as we are doing in the other functions here. We're talking to the manager. We can see on the image here. Now we are in, um, we're calling the movie manager. So we should get the handle of the movie manager. We have something called movie manager. Movie manager. And we can see <coughs> the movie manager don't have this create movie as well because we haven't implemented this yet. Create movie new movie and again IntelliJ is angry with me because the movie manager does not have this method but if we go back to the um, let's go back to the to the controller here the controller is not angry anymore because now there is in fact a method called create movie on our model so this is okay, and we are passing around the object and not the individual uh, parts of this. So let's go to the movie model, uh, and this is angry now. First off, it is angry because uh, the manager does not have this method. Uh, and secondly, it is also angry because we are not returning anything. I have put in here that we should return uh, the movie. Um, so why am I doing this? Why do I need to return the movie? Well, uh, this is because when I created the movie, I put in minus one here. So in order for this to be correct, um, I need to correct this in my UI with the correct ID because we don't want minus one to be in the end here. We want to be the next number. And whether you, we're using a file or a database, um, we get this number usually from the database or the file. 
So this is in the data access layer, we will get this information. So I need to return the model. Oh, sorry, I need to return the uh, movie when I've created it and the ID it has. And the data access layer will tell me that. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, it is angry with me. Um, I need to return this, return the, the movie. Um, and if we have an error, maybe it will return null if uh, something went wrong. So in, again, IntelliJ will tell me there is no method called create movie on the manager. Hmm. So let me try to get IntelliJ to do this. So we can see if we do, if we uh, let IntelliJ do this, it will create this method. Um, private movie, create movie, new movie. And it does private. And I really want this to be public because I want my model to be able to call it. Let me just uh, go back to the, if we have private, let's go back. You see, IntelliJ will tell me that uh, create movie has private access. I'm not allowed to call this method because it's private. So, and this is probably due to the setting in the IntelliJ that it creates everything in private, but, but let's not worry about that. So, um, let's have a look here. Now we got the create movie, we're in the manager. Let's go back to our uh, illustration here. Now we're in the movie manager. We have the movie coming all the way from the view, the user inputted data, title and year. We created a movie object in the controller. We sent the object through the method uh, on the controller uh, to the model, and then we sent the movie to the manager. Now we just need to send it to the data access layer. And I know guys, um, uh, this might be a long way to go with this, but if we have a bigger application, uh, it is a very good architecture to use um, because we might need to do extra logic. We're not doing this at the moment, but we could do some extra logic on the movie um that 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 we need to separate so we're separating concerns uh, we have single responsibility the data access layer is only responsible for creating the the movie and uh, the graphical user interface is only responsible for getting the data from the user and passing it along to the other layers so let's have a look if we can get this to work um So let's, um, you can see here, now we're in the movie manager, we have a handle to the movie DAO. This is the object based on a file, could be a database as well, uh, could even be a mock data, but we're using the file right now. So let's um, try to get this movie uh, DAO. And we can actually see we got, in fact, the all the CRUD methods. Get all movies, update, delete, and create. And the reason why we have all the methods, um, we can go here, is because it implements the interface. So, um, and we can also see something that is pretty funny here, or not really funny, but um, let me just collapse the get all movies. Um, you, you see, I modified the interface, and now the IntelliJ IDE is being angry with me again because uh, method does not override method from its superclass. So this means that this is not a valid implementation of my interface. Makes sense because I modified the parameters. So whoa, 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 let me just go here, and I need to modify the implementation. Oh, movie new movie. So it is okay again, uh, change from gray to blue here. Uh, and maybe my mock is on mock data is also angry. Yeah, the mock, even though I'm not really using it. Okay. So 
we have corrected some of the bugs here and I should be able to call create movie on my data access layer. I'm passing in the new movie. Uh, and I also need to return this to the, um, to my model for the ID number. Um, so I'm putting in return and let's just have a look here on handle exceptions. Okay. Um, let me see what is the best thing to do this. So IntelliJ warns me that when I'm creating a new movie, uh, since we're working with input output um, files and stuff, there is a potential risk that it might go wrong. Maybe I'm not allowed to write a new file. To, write to um, Maybe I'm not allowed to access the file. Uh, it might be locked by the operating system. So there might be an exception. So that's why it says unhandle exception. So we could do, and you can see also in the other ones, it says throws exception, throws exception. And it indicates that this method might throw an exception, meaning that there might be some unexpected behavior. All right, so uh, what we could do is the easiest way is to uh, put the same throws exception, uh, add exception to method signature, it's going to mark the method that this might throw an exception here. And we will talk much more about exception handling later on. Uh, but for now, let's put this in here and let's go to the movie DAO. And now we can see that, um, let me just close my program here. Let me build the project. We're not finished yet. Um, now we can see when I compile it, it says now the model says uh, also that this method becomes, because it comes from the data access layer, uh, this will throw, throw an exception. So I just need to add the same um, um, information here to the method. Let's try to build it again. And we can see now we're in the controller and uh, this also. And this information or this uh, is about how we handle exceptions in software. And we will talk much more about how we do this. Uh, but for now, I'm just throwing these, the exception. And we can see the program builds. We're not finished yet. Um, we need to create the actual code that will create the movie in the uh, the file. But we've created uh, the chain of uh, actions here. We are getting data from the UI, creating movie object, calling create movie method to the model, to the manager, and to the data access object. So now we need to implement the code that actually creates the movie in the file, and we have the code available in the create movie code that is using uh, Java new that is um, writing to the file. So we're going to try to see if we can implement this in the application. All right, so let's see if we can do this. Uh, let's first off remove uh, return null because we should not return null anymore. We want to create the actual movie. So we copy the code here. And we can see here, create movie, we get the movie. Um, and we have red stuff, path to file, year and title, append. Uh, first, we got the path to file. This is the same as when we did the get all. We also need to provide the file path. So let me just do file path relates to this path up here. And uh, we're being warned, I think. Yeah, it can be replaced with something else. Uh, IntelliJ suggests. So now we need to, and we can see here, we need to create a new line. 
since we're working with files here, we need to create a new line that is based on the ID number and uh, the year and the title. Yes. So uh, we need to uh, to uh, get our data, uh, create this line, uh, so that we can put the line to our uh, file. Um, we need we are reading all the movies first, so this might not be totally optimal uh, to do this. Uh, could be improved. We're putting in the file path here. We're making a new line that we need to give to the to the write method, uh, the new Java yeah, new uh, write method, and it consists of um, the ID and the the year and the title. Um, so we're going to put here new movie get year. New movie get uh, title and then we have this next ID and the next ID is an integer that comes from um, when we we uh, count the number of uh, movies in our um, in our list uh, so we take the size of the list uh, minus one and then we um, we add one to that, so we get the next ID, um, which is kind of not really the optimal approach. It's better when we use a database uh, because it's, uh, the database is uh, built for multi-user access and to handle these uh, sorts of things. And maybe there could be two programs uh, having access to the file. Um, and they get the data, they get the list of the movie at the same time, and they generate the same next ID. But um, let's uh, let's not worry about this right now. Uh, this is also wrong. Uh, it says cannot resolve symbol, import static. I think I'm just going to let IntelliJ import this um, static constant here. This means that it will append add to the file and not override it. And then we need to uh, return the new movie. Um, and of course, we could also have found this ID in the user interface in the list. But when we start to work with databases, it will be the database that will tell us the next ID. Uh, so that's why we're doing this in the data access layer. But let's, uh, we're just returning a new movie, and then we put in the next ID, and then we put. Um, yeah, there are different approaches to this. Um, let's just um, new movie get year uh, get title. So I'm returning a new movie that has the next ID and it has the year and the title that we passed. I'm not really using this uh, when we pass it back up here, but the next ID, I need this for the UI um, so we can see the ID. Yes. All right, let's have a look. Uh, we can compile this build. It is being compiled, I think. Let's see what happens. Uh, new movie title. Very new movie hasn't appeared yet, so maybe let's just first check if we get a. We don't get an exception, but probably nothing is being added. Let's um, close the program and let's look at the. Let's look at the file. See, <laughs> it actually adds the movie to the to the file, but it doesn't really update the UI. So it means if I run the program again, <coughs> it might uh, it have the movie title there. <laughs> okay, 
So uh, it is working, but we need to update the, um, the UI when we add the movie. So uh, this is uh, something that is in the controller movie model. Um, let's see what is the best approach to do this. We got the movie model here. Create movies. Yeah, I think the best we are creating it. Um, we return this. Uh, let's see here. Button handle click. Yeah. So what we um, what we could do here is we could movies to be viewed. Let's see here. This is this is something we call an observable array list. We're going to talk much more about this special type of array list um, that will be um, updated automatically. It will update the UI when we add stuff to it. Um, so let's see if we can add. Um, so let's have a look here if we can make this this work. Oh, sorry. Um, we're going to add it um, and then. All right, so let's make a check, final check here to see now that we have put in this code here. What will happen here? We add basic dummy test data. Um, this is title. This is year. Let's have a look here. So we can see we get the we get the new information here. We got a new movie title. We can also add new stuff. Uh, Twenty seven. We're getting further ahead in the future, and it is counting up. You can see we get the next ID of the movie um, in our program. Okay. So this is a. It seems to work now that we have done um, everything I think there's nothing left in the in the programming notes so we can see that we've we've completed the chain of uh, these actions and it, it should be noted there that the create probably is the most complex CRUD function to create if we uh, when we need to do the update or the delete it might be a little bit simpler because now we uh, we got the user interface that we've created, so we can actually reuse this for the update. Um, and it, it, we can also, uh, it's pretty easy to do the delete. To finish off this movie here, uh, this concludes what I wanted to say. I hope you make this work and have fun with this. Bye-bye.